Hey friends, Joe here at Reverb. Through the years, we have seen all the classic, most iconic guitar designs from Gibson, from Fender, Rickenbacker, and new guitars and old guitars are often based off of those designs, whether it's Tele or SG or Les Paul or whatever. Today I'd like to talk about 11 guitar companies making really unique guitar models that will help you stand out from the crowd, and they're also super affordable. You can find these guitars on Reverb for less than $1,000. Let's have a look. So first on the list, let's talk about a modern guitar that will probably become a classic in the next decade, and that is the Sterling St. Vincent. Annie Clark's signature model from Music Man is the epitome of what this list is all about. Its asymmetrical Jetsons retro future design is unique, attention-grabbing, and practical. Everyone who's tried a St. Vincent model notes how comfortable and surprisingly lightweight they are. The five-way pickup selector and vibrato bridge allow for tones as versatile and as sweet as St. Vincent's music. Fortunately for guitarists on a budget, Music Man's Sterling brand offers St. Vincent models with almost no compromises. The Sterling St. Vincent guitars are available with three mini humbuckers or a more classic HH pickup layout. All these guitars have a 9.5 inch radius rosewood fretboard and a 25.5 inch scale bolt-on neck. Next up on the list, my favorite name on this list, the Hagstrom Phantomen. Inspired by the unsuccessful Gibson RD, which featured electronics designed by Bob Moog, the look of the Hagstrom Phantomen is vintage without being overplayed. The Phantomen is the signature model of theatrical metal band Ghost, and while it may look as heavy as their music, the slim depth keeps the Phantomen on balance with some Les Pauls. Shredder-friendly features include a 15-inch fretboard radius, set neck, and a Graf Tech nut. The Lundgren-designed Alnico humbuckers can each be coil-tapped with a pull of the tone knob, and the fretboard is a composite wood that Hagstrom compares to ebony. If Brian Jones joined the B-52s, he would most likely play the next guitar on this list, and that is the Pure Salem Levitation. Inspired by some of the retro Vox guitars, the Levitation from Pure Salem keeps everything simple. Two humbuckers, two knobs, a tunematic bridge, and an oblong shape. The Mahogany Levitation has a C-shaped bolt-on neck with a 12-inch radius rosewood fretboard. It's also available as a 12-string model. Check that out. Which brings us to the Guild T-Bird, which is based on a classic model, but maybe not a model that many of us would consider to be classic. Dating back to the mid-60s, the Guild T-Bird shares some character traits with the classic Fender offsets from around the same time period. The T-Bird has a wavy offset body and short-scale neck, and the classic S200 model features a vintage spring vibrato tailpiece and a pickup switching system, reminiscent of Jaguars. Unlike the Fenders, the S200 has mini humbuckers, a tunematic bridge, and a set neck. Along with reviving the classic T-Bird as part of its Korean-built Newark Street line, Guild also makes a version with P90s and a stop bar tail. The T-Bird ST comes in different colors such as Pelham Blue and has some simpler electronics. Keeping with guitars that are based on classic models that are still somehow bizarre today, let's talk about the Eastwood Breadwinner. Eastwood has an extensive lineup of obscure retro styles, including the airline models and the 50s coupe-inspired backland. However, the value we want to highlight is their remake of Ovation's Breadwinner from the 1970s. Like many entries in Eastwood's catalog, the Breadwinner has a retro futuristic body. Think maybe the Star Trek badge as a guitar. The belly and arm contours and tail scoop make for an electric six string that's extremely comfortable to play sitting or standing. The Breadwinner has a maple bolt-on neck, mini humbuckers, and a simple adjustable bridge. Unlike many vintage-inspired guitars, the Breadwinner is loaded with active electronics, which can be switched on and off instantly. Best of all, these beauties can be had for half the price of the vintage ovations. If Fritz Lang wanted to put a guitar from the future in one of his films, it'd probably be the Italia Mondial. If you like a bit of flair to your guitar and really want to stand out on stage, Italia has some awesome options, like the Mondial, which is reminiscent of those cool 60s Italian guitars, but with a more modern build and features. The Rezzo glass top and mahogany back give it that old-school Supro-like hollow quality. Also, its two completely independent pickup systems, complete with an underbridge piezo, give you a ton of tonal options. You can even run each pickup system out to independent amplifiers or channels, blending both for ultimate tonal shaping. If you're a minimalist who wants a rootsy statement piece, check out Weir Guitars, handmade in California. They may not have a million bells and whistles, but the interesting wood choices like Carina and Sugar Pine and mini humbucker pickups and intonated bridges made just for these guitars scream quality. Quality! Paul Reed Smith guitars, like the Custom Series, definitely have a style that is very much now ubiquitous with the name. However, the S2 Vela 
is a really unique offset design for PRS. Its pickguard loaded electronics feature a PRS designed DS01 pickup in the bridge, providing a bright, punky tone, and the PRS designed Type D single coil in the neck that gives the Vela some noteworthy bite. The coil tap on the tone control allows the bridge pickup to split to single coils, providing a balanced tone that will cut through the mix with style. The next guitar is an affordable line made by a legend, and that is the Revolta Mondata. The Mondata by Revolta sits somewhere in the Jazzmaster Firebird realm, but really feels like a totally different guitar than either of those classic models, especially with options for PAF-style humbuckers or mini humbuckers. With legendary luthier Dennis Fano at the helm, you absolutely can't go wrong picking up one of these on reverb for less than a thousand. We've mentioned a few really cool offset designs on this list, but now let's take a look at a symmetrical double cut model. And this is a guitar that's been around for years, and it's the Yamaha Revstar. The Yamaha Revstar is a unique shape. It's been around for quite a while, but it's pretty much stayed under the radar. It has a distinct minimalist vibe while having plenty of different options to choose from. I was able to find Rev Stars with all kinds of different finishes, Bigsby's, some with Filtertrons, P90s, or Humbuckers. If you're looking for a really solid and affordable, unique guitar, and one that's been slung around by the Smashing Pumpkins and the Killers, check out the Yamaha Rev Star. Another really great company building awesome, affordable guitars with boutique features is Reverend. And today we're going to specifically talk about the Double Agent series. Reverend has been coming up with unique body shapes for decades. But one of my personal favorites is the offset shape of their Double Agent W which has the power and girth of a bridge humbucker and the sweet bluesy tone of a neck P90. When you add in features like the bass contour knob, locking tuners, and an awesome Wilkinson tremolo, you've got truly a gig-ready boutique feeling guitar for under $1,000. I've owned one for years, I've played it on many gigs, taken it on tour, this thing is awesome, definitely check it out. I think we have so many cool options right now for unique guitar styles without a custom shop price tag. Let us know in the comments if we missed anything on this list or what some of your favorites are. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.